Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 1, Episode 5. Oh man, so our crew has left for Whitestone after dealing with some what I assume are wraiths, uh, or were wraiths that they, that they slaughtered, um, after losing a lot of the guards and everything in the process, and because of that, the head of the guards seemed to, uh, I think he's the head of the guards anyway, seemingly, uh, let them leave, regardless of their house arrest order, because he wants revenge for his people. So, yeah, I'm excited to see this this Whitestone arc and, and seeing more of Silas and Delilah because they're pretty cool characters and uh, and more of what our crew does through, you know, a lots of humor and, uh, and fun, so, and brutal combat. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? All right, guys, we're going to start here in five. Four, three, two, one, now. What? Is this them trying to leave, uh, Iman? They talked about heading to, uh, Gilmore's, right? Okay, that's what it is. Maybe. Is that Keila? <laughs> nice. Nice. Ah, sneaky, sneaky way into Gilmore's. Oh, they're just robbing from Gilmore. Oh, or not. <laughs> All right. Intro time and water time for me, because I am thirsty. It's funny, I grabbed this water, and I was like, before I start recording, I'll, I'll drink some of it because I'm thirsty, and then I recorded an entire episode and never took a sip out of it. <laughs> Stealing from Gilmore. Decided to write it down. That didn't work. <laughs> I've actually done that before, where I can... I think it depends on where I put it. There we go. You can barely even see it in the camera. <laughs> That's funny. No. <laughs> nice. Ooh, some fancy arrows. Vampire. <laughs> Garlic. We're hunting a vampire. <laughs> Health potions. Oh, holy water. Ooh. Also, the steak and the garlic might not... Oh, okay. Ooh, not a lot. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it, Keyleth. Oh, so you need a lot of sunlight.
<laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Practically, literally, of steel. That was interesting. In that one shot, it looked like the cart was just regular drawing, and then the wheels were 3D. And then the other shot, the, the whole cart was 3D when we saw it coming up the road, but... That's cool. <laughs> she. That seems like a weird thing to say to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggurat. No, oh, Grog, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Not again. Does he miss Pike? No, healer's rough. No, I guess Scanlan and Keyleth have a few heals sometimes, depending on what they take, but it is dangerous to go alone. Yep, they mentioned that in the last episode, too. I haven't finished the campaign! I don't know what that is! I don't think. I don't think it was... I'm not gonna say, in case you guys haven't finished the campaign either. I think I have an idea of what the Whispered One has to do with. But... I never saw the result of it. Only my own theories. Uh-oh. Doggy. Yeah, they're not going to be nice. Oh, shit. Does it have something in its mouth, or is it hurt itself? Oh, Jesus. Is it undead? She's got blood coming out of its mouth. All right. Oh, what? Ah, oh, fuck that. Oh, no, not Scanlan. Why is it always Scanlan? Oh, that, that thing's so fucked up. It's got, like, teeth on its tail. I think. Or something.
Good shit, Keyleth. Didn't even have to be, like, told to do it or anything. She just knew what she had to do. This is a cool chase. Ugh! <laughs> he blushed at the end! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> it didn't even care. Oh, jeez. I thought they were going to jump off. Oh, my God. That thing just, like, shoved its mouth all the way around Grog. Oh. Nice. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Poor Scanlan. Oh. Uh oh. Why are they why are they going to the cliff? Oh, here's the book. <laughs> oh, it's a rope arrow. Oh, they lost the book, though. Damn. Those poor horses! Son of a bitch. They always get the raw deal. Oh no! Where's. Oh. I was gonna say, where's Grog? They haven't shown him yet. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Big old purple hand. <laughs> All right. Oh no. God damn it. That was all her enchanted arrows, too. Or some of them, at least. Ugh. It's gonna bring the book back. Ugh, that thing's so nasty. I think that's, uh... I think they're the actual dinner. <laughs> oh. That's a just like Pikes. Interesting. Yep. Uh, they're gonna be food for something, I believe. Whether it's Silas or some kind of ritual. Duh. Damn. 
Damn. <laughs> oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm confused and aroused. Kiki. Friend. That's your brother. Be happy for him. Don't be jealous. Probably not. Jealous is probably the wrong word. Probably just... Maybe thinks her brother deserves better kind of thing. We get to follow Pike a little bit too. This is cool. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I think I just saw that in the campaign like not too long ago and like an episode or two ago. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I remember this part too. That's awesome. <laughs> oh god gross <laughs> Grog. oh what the fuck jesus <laughs> oh my god the briarwoods Yep. Way to kill the vibe, Percy. <laughs> yep.
they gonna <laughs> All right. Ooh. <laughs> the name's etched on his gun. That's cool. Are they the people he's vowed to kill? Oh, no. Uh, I think I remember something. <laughs> Yep. Not so lush and beautiful anymore. Jeez, it's just... They just suck this place dry, is that... I mean, maybe that's just what they do. They just take over an area, suck it dry of, of people, and then move on. Oh my god. What is that? Is it a giant? Oh, jeez. Oh, dressed them up to look like them. That's what happened to them. That's why she put the necklace. Oh, fuck. Damn, and that's it. Oh, hey, you have to hit the hide button. They just don't give you a lot of time. I figured out how to keep the episode going. <laughs> but that is it, guys, for episode five. Man, that one felt like it went by fast. I don't know why. I mean... They're, they're all good episodes and everything, and they all feel about, feel like they go by fast because there's 24 minutes, you know? Um, but I'm used to that duration because of anime. But that one felt especially fast. Jeez. Um, I kind of want to talk about my favorite part first, though. And I think, I think it's maybe a little bit of a bias because I think my favorite part was when they were sitting around at a campfire talking about their... Uh, their worst kills or whatever. Um... Or the worst monsters they killed, I should say. And the, uh... The one where Keyleth, like, pushes the guy into lava. And he just, like, sits there and burns to death. <laughs> um... I believe that one is the the beginning of the campaign. When they go down to the Underdark to save Lady Kima. That's where I'm at right now. Um... Or I should say the beginning of where they started streaming the campaign. 
Uh, I believe that's where that happened. And I guess the the one that Grog did, it was in a different setting. But I'm pretty sure that one was in the Underdark as well, because I... I remember seeing that the Grog one, too, where he killed a beast by, like, gr uh, grabbing its tongue with its mouth and ripping it out. Um, I just saw that part, too. And the only arc I've really seen was this Underdark one so far. I haven't gotten past this, so it must have been a part of that. But here they, show they showed it in, like, a desert area, but that's fine. Um, but, uh... But, yeah, that was, uh... That was probably my favorite. I don't know about, uh, what's it called? I don't know about, I, I almost said Liam's, uh, Vax's, the one that he described. Um, I don't think that that one has been in the campaign for me yet, although I'm curious if that one is in the campaign as well. That'd be interesting. And then... We didn't get one for uh, Vex, did we? I don't think she... I don't think she mentioned one, did she? But, uh... But yeah, that was just... I think that was my favorite part, just because of the fact that it's referencing the campaign, and I'm so happy. I'm sure there's a lot of campaign references here that I just don't get because I'm not far enough into my rewatch and I can't remember, you know, kind of stuff. Um, but I, I'm glad I was able to get a couple of them here, so I think that's why that was my, my favorite part, but that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so I guess starting from the top of the episode after that, um, steal, they went to go steal from Gilmore, uh, they learned that holy water and direct sunlight are the only two known ways of killing a vampire, uh, and apparently the sunlight is a lot of sunlight, so it's not just like a... A regular amount of sunlight. Like, he said, like... He mentioned an area. I'm not sure. Um, but you could tell he was implying, like, you need, like, a... You know, a really... A really strong sunlight. So it might not be, you know... Might not be able to just bring him outside and kill him. You know? It's probably gonna take more than that. So... But, uh... But, yeah. Gilmore caught them. It was funny. Uh, he wasn't too angry, though. I like how he was kind of, like, into it, you know? So that was, that was cool. And, and seeing that was, uh, seeing Gilmore again was, was cool. I can't wait to get to his part in the campaign again as well. That'll be fun. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've seen them go to Gilmore's at all in the campaign yet, so. Uh, but. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not sure why Vex mentioned the the thing to Percy about like, why aren't you happier? You're you're going home, aren't you? Um, and I understand the sentiment that she's trying to go for with like the idea of returning home can be a happy thing, but the thing is, it's like he's so traumatized by the memories of what happened to his family and everything. How could he be excited about going here? And she knows that he's, uh, she knows about now about what happened in his past here. So you would think that that'd be more of a bitter memory now. And it's kind of a weird thing to say to someone who might have a, that might have a bitter memory of, of something, you know? Um, but I guess maybe she just wasn't thinking about it or, you know... Um, Vex is a much more stern character, you know, so maybe she just doesn't, ca not that she doesn't care, but maybe she just doesn't think about it in that way, you know? I don't know, but I thought it was interesting. Um, but they mentioned being able to read a little something from the book right before they lost it, uh, about a ziggurat, which is a structure used for contacting gods, and then they talked about, or they mentioned the Whispered One once again, so, which is what Vax also mentioned while he was skimming the book in their room, but, uh, but they have now lost the book, so, so no more of that, and those, those poor horses went tumbling off the cliffs to their deaths. Man, horses never get, uh, 
they they always get the raw end of the deal, don't they? In in shows, but uh, but yeah, a lot of little things happened this episode. They hinted a lot at like the relationship between Vax and Keyleth, uh, kind of moving a little bit. Um, I don't. Maybe I remember a little bit of that in the campaign. I don't remember a whole lot. It didn't it didn't even like click on me that they were like that at all. But I imagine they were. You know? I don't think they'd make up a romance just for the uh just for the show or like a little bit of like that little back and forth that they had. Um I don't want to call it a romance because it's not really much, but uh but yeah, they wouldn't have pulled that out of thin air. So that's most likely in the campaign. I just didn't remember it. So yeah, kind of an adorable little nickname for Keyleth, Kiki as well. Um, but Scanlan also, uh, well, never mind. Before we talk about that, on the note of, you know, kind of Vax and Keyleth seemingly, you know, getting a little bit closer in that regard. We also had Vex noticing and not being too happy about it, which I think it was, like I said, a little bit of jealousy. You know, he said, like, don't worry, no one's gonna um, come between me and you. So obviously it's not... When when people say jealousy, sometimes you take it the wrong way. It's not that... It's definitely... It, I mean, it's obviously their brother and sister. It's not that uh, Vex wants to be with Vax in that sense, you know. But it's something where they've always been together, you know, and... She's there's probably a little part of her that that could be worried that um that if uh if Vax were to find someone, then he might not be around her as much and and spend as much you know brother sister bonding together and and stuff like that um and then also it could be somewhat of. You know, she had that, she had that comment, obviously it was out of that little bit of jealousy, but she had the comment where she was like, you know, maybe you'll, or hopefully you'll finally get your shit together someday or something along those lines. You know, so obviously uh, Vex doesn't think too highly of Keyleth right now because of how much she like messes up or can't do and, you know, is aware of Keyleth's own insecurity about her abilities and, and everything, so she kind of attacked that aspect. So maybe it is something I mentioned, like, maybe a little bit of, like, not good enough for her brother, too, kind of thing, so. But yeah, so we had a little bit of that brother-sister drama. Um, but uh, Scanlan has a... Now, with that scroll, I mean, I guess that's a new ability, right? That's That's showing him gaining a new ability, so now he has a polymorph sort of thing. Um, it doesn't seem quite the same as Keyless because maybe she's just more successful at it, you know? Um, she's always just turned into animals and stuff like that. Um, but he was turning into, like, all kinds of crazy shit, so... Um, but that's probably a, a new ability that he now has, which he got from a scroll from the dragon cave that they were in so that's cool i like that way of i was talking last episode about like their characters growing and gaining more power and i talked about levels and stuff i didn't explicitly mean this i figured they'd be having new abilities as time went on that we'd see uh but you know we actually saw them learning one of them which is pretty cool but uh but yeah other than that we had the towards the very end we had them make it to Whitestone, the, uh, and they talked about the sun tree planted by someone named Dawnfather, uh, long ago, talked about the, their lush lands and how beautiful it was and everything, and, and then they, and that, like, clicked in my mind when he said that. One, because you know stories, you know, they're, they're gonna, if they're arriving at a place and they're gonna talk about how beautiful and everything it once was, it's probably not going to be beautiful anymore, and that's going to be, like, the big, you know, tragedy kind of thing. So, but I also kind of remembered that from the campaign of it, of it not being what he expected. I also remember a few things from the, about the Sun Tree, I think, that came back 
in in my mind, but I won't go into details because we haven't seen it in the show yet, and not everyone watching might have watched the campaign, so I don't want to spoil anything that might happen in like next week's episodes or something. So, um, but but yeah, I'm and they're looking for ke- uh, someone called Keeper Yenin, who I do not remember, but uh, I'm sure uh, it'll be uh, cool, and I'm sure I will. I will probably get to this point in the campaign someday, and I will be like, oh yes, all these people that I know from the campaign now. Um, But yeah, I'm excited, guys, so I can't wait to see more. I'm going to be watching the final episode here in a minute. That's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Um, I guess I didn't touch on Pike at all, but there really wasn't much there. We followed her a little bit. She got to her temple, and... uh, is seeking help and, and everything, but, but yeah, thank you guys, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed, check out my Patreon if you want to see more from me, link in the description below, or it should be popping up on the screen, very much appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my future reactions, Bye bye